Hi everyone, this is Suzanne from Baby Bunting Nursery and before I start I want to say pinch and a punch for the first of the month and no returns. It's Thursday here, half past twelve in the afternoon and I'm just, I've just popped in to make a quick video before I have to go and do some school pick up and kindy pick up. Oh no, only school pick up because the, my little kindy, my little granddaughter who was at kindy last year is now at big school. So that just makes life a lot easier. Just pick two children up from the same venue. So anyway, um, it is um, Thursday and it's theme Thursday. And before I get into that, I think I better make a disclaimer to Mr. YouTube that what I'm showing today is a doll. It's made of vinyl parts. It has a cloth body and glass eyes. It doesn't move, it doesn't talk, it doesn't breathe, it doesn't have a heart. It is not living, it's a doll. Just a doll like any other doll. Now this doll looks like a baby, but trust me it's not. It's a doll. So having said that, i just like to say that I've had an email from Sue Drinkwater and it came after she talked to Suzanne and really she didn't say much extra except she's she is very sad. She's very hurt. She, part of her feels like she doesn't ever want to come back on again because she feels that YouTube can do this to anybody at any time, which at the moment is exactly what it feels like. Seeing as we don't know what we're doing wrong to get our channels taken away, we don't know how to prevent it happening. Um, and Sue um, has been reviewed and the review was turned down they won't tell her what she did so it makes it really difficult for all of us because we just don't know what we're doing wrong but hopefully by saying this is just a doll that looks like a baby maybe that will help YouTube to understand what we're doing um, I don't know but anyway Sue's feeling pretty down but she said in a few days she thinks she will have gathered her strength back again and will set up a channel so fingers crossed she will because We'll all support her. We'll go straight back and watch her and support her. And we just hope that she's having a nice little holiday now and having a party and enjoying herself and then she'll come back better than ever. So that's the story on that front. Oh, I'd like to give you a weather report today as well because officially on the calendar today is actually the first day of our autumn. And even yesterday, which was still the last day of summer, I could already feel the quality of the air had changed. It's beautiful weather, it's warm, it's sunny, it's bright, but it's just not the same brightness as summer and the air, air feels slightly different. So I, I felt feel the turn already, which is just beautiful, except I'm going to complain about winter as just as much as I complained about summer. So get ready for it everybody, sorry about that. I'm never happy, except maybe in autumn and spring. They're just lovely, but they both bring you both you know what's coming after them which is always a bit of a problem for me but it's lovely today and um yeah so today is theme thursday and the theme is pets i think i said animals before did i i don't remember anyway it's pets and <laughs> lottie is holding a little little koala and let me just say to you right from the beginning that koalas aren't allowed to be pets in australia we're not allowed to keep wildlife as pets unless we have a very special license. But Lottie doesn't have that license. But what Lottie has is that she lives in what Susan, Sue Drinkwater calls reborn land. And in reborn land, anything is possible. So in reborn land, Lottie has a koala for her pet. I had other animals I could have shown you, like dogs and cats. I think I've got any toy cats. But I have dogs. But I decided just to be Australian and different, and so we have a koala. This koala koala was made by the same lady who made my rabbit family that I've shown you before. Um, and she it's completely handmade. She drafts her own patterns, and she works off detailed um, photographs and exact measurements to get the proportions right in all the things that she makes unless she's doing goblins and fairies, which she does now, and I guess she, she works from her imagination then. But so this little koala, he's only about, hmm, what do you think he would be? Altogether maybe seven inches, and he's made with German mohair. 
He's got his white fluff on his chest. He's got a beautiful black koala nose and little eyes that are glass and light brown on the outside with a black pupil. And then he's got black mouth. He's got all the correct shaped um, paws on his hands and feet. And they're felt, made of grey felt that matches the, the long mohair hair from his, on his body. So that's him. And he is Lottie's pet today. I'd like to tell you what Lottie's wearing as well because this is just a, an amazing find I had. It's not an outfit, it's a put together, you know, I added the blouse to the bonnet, booties and um, bloomers. But the funny thing about the bonnet and the booties and the bloomers is that I bought the bonnet and the booties from a shop here in Sydney called Seed. It's an Australian shop, I've mentioned it before. I'll just show you the tag. This is the proof. Okay, so this came off the there we go. This came off the bonnet and it's made here in Australia. Well, it's an Australian company. And then when I was looking through Lottie's clothes to see what she might wear for today, I came across these bloomers and I thought, oh, heavens above, they look as though they'd match that bonnet and booty set. And guess what? It's identical. It's the identical colour, identical um, knit, everything's the same, which is just incredible. And this is the tag that came off the, the bloomers, Laringina, which is um, Spanish or Italian or something like that. And I just can't get over it. There, I'll show you the back of it and we'll see see if it will focus. There we go. It's obviously been listening to Holly and obeying me and focusing. So that's what it says on the back, which I don't know if that's Italian or Spanish. But how amazing is that? So I reckon they've all come from the same manufacturer. Um, yeah, and just different companies have bought from that manufacturer and put their own labels on them. That's all I can think that's happened. So let me anyway describe. I, I was so amazed by that. I thought she just has to wear that today. So I've added a, a little white um, blouse that buttons down the back that's um, very fine white lawn. It's see-through. It's very fine. And it's got the tiniest little flower print on it. Shall I try one of my famous zoom-ins? Let me try and I'll see if I can show you. focus on that. It did like it when it was a bit further out, didn't it? So maybe I'll zoom out a bit. I'll show you. I'll show off that I know how to zoom out. Let's see. There we go. Now you can see the teeny tiny flowers. They're just printed on. And so it's got a very small ruffle around the neck. And that's it. She's wearing that blouse. Now let me tell you about her set. The booties, the bonnet and the bloomers. Oh, they all start with B, don't they? That little set is a colour that I honestly can't describe. It's it's a uh, a pinky orange colour. I think that's what you would call it. Sort of a mushroomy pink. Um, it's just a colour I always struggle with. I don't know about peachy. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, hopefully you get a bit of an idea. And and so that's what she's wearing. And that might be all I have to say today, just that hopefully we'll see Sue drink water soon and hopefully she's having a, a little rest and just um, maybe having some fun over the, these few days that she's got off. <coughs> Excuse me. So I will see her soon enough. And I hope my friend Suzanne's feeling better. She sounded so crook on the video that I saw this morning that you all would have seen earlier than me. Um, but she just still doesn't sound right. So I keep saying in my comments to her, please, please rest. But she's pretty stubborn, I think. So I don't know if she is resting. Uh, hopefully she is, and hopefully she'll be better soon. And really, I think that might be the end of my video, so I can get ready to go and collect those children in just a very short time. So everyone, thank you very much for coming back to my kitchen. You're always welcome here. And... Um, I'll see you all very soon, and YouTube, please note this is a doll. It doesn't move, or breathe, or talk, or any of those things. 
it's just a doll, like any other doll, just that this one looks like a baby. So everyone else who knows what reborns are and enjoys them, thank you very much for coming to visit, and I'll see you all very soon. So goodbye all my lovely friends, take care and be kind to each other, and watch out for YouTube. Let's be careful until we know what, what we need to do to avoid being shut down. We just need to be careful. So I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Be kind to each other. Bye-bye.